Hi guys, this is a very sad period of time, I would say. Uh, I wasn't planning, as you can see, on doing any video on this topic, but I do think it's important to step out and say something. Obviously, I'm not going to say anything new because everyone has already covered the topic, but I, as I said, I do want to give my two cents on this. What am I talking about? As you see from the title, about the big issue, the big problem that everyone is talking about related to mobile fidelity. Uh, for those of you who don't know what happened, I'll put a few links uh, very briefly. Uh, thanks to uh, Michael Ludwig of 45 Audiophile RPM, 45 RPM Audiophile, and uh, Mike Exposito in, a, in an interview, uh, among other who amplified the, 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 the content. Uh, Mobile Fidelity admitted that their content, their releases, their LPs, are all digitally sourced, at least from 2015 all the way up to now, and probably also prior to that. Uh, and they're using, they, they claim, mainly, in most cases, not all, but in most cases, a DSD master. So... Uh, if you go and look inside the different aspects related the technical information in uh, the inlets of the LPs, it never says that it's an AAA process. They never say it's cut from analog. So they're legally covered from that point of view. But we all knew, because before it was all in the, in the 70s and 80s, and hopefully also maybe in the 90s, Everything was cut analog, and they man maintained that tradition, also proclaiming high quality in all their productions, all their, their, famous, their famous label, no? You knew that original master recording was coming from the original master. And that was true until a certain point. But then, yes, they were sourcing the masters, but unfortunately then they were doing a digital transfer. And that's why we have so many Super Audio CDs which in fact have the same label. But obviously this is, it has to be digital. It's a digital format, digital medium. But unfortunately, no. This is the same master. Obviously they changed things for LP that was going on the LP. I don't have that many Mophie releases because as I said in other videos, a few are fantastic, but a good number in my opinion are nothing, I'm nothing special. I mean, Plus, it's very difficult. I'm based in Europe, so it's very difficult to have them. So that's also the problem for me. Also, because the, the prices are crazy. And I think the whole point goes right there. Because, as I said, there's nothing claiming that these are 100% uh, analog. Although, I want to show you something. There was this distance, this difference. No, we all knew that when you have this... Um, silver label, Mobile Fidelity Sound Lab, you knew that they weren't able to find the original master. But that they were always talking at the first step, not what came after. So they're, they're, it's clearly a playing on what people were expecting and knew from the older pastor productions. And I find that not very nice. In any case, the whole point, as I was saying, is the price. Because if you do... This, if you use digital to do your releases, you're cutting your expenses a lot, a lot, guys. And you, and you don't need that so much expertise because you can work on those files and produce how many cuts, how many pressings, how many vinyl releases you want from that. Okay, do so, but then you have to do a decent price. I mean, it's it's... I think it's just shocking because if you think they're pl pure pleasure or speaker corner releases that have a correct price and they are practically almost all uh, AAA and they're 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 keeping their expense down and they they're declaring also on their releases that it's an AAA product. I must admit that I never seen on Mofi saying that it was an AAA release cut from analog so, once again, they're probably not going to face any legal actions. But they weren't clear. So, they're going to lose a lot, a lot of people. Trust me. Especially here in Europe. Oh, boy. In any case, 
I hope this is going to be something, a changing point, a turning point in uh, record history, I would say. Now, all the audiophile labels must come clean, must declare, state what's happening. You can't be ambiguous anymore. Absolutely, we are not going to tolerate this anymore. Because if Mophi came down, all the other ones are going to be scrutinized, I hope. So now, since vinyl is becoming so important and the sales are huge, more than CDs, remember, the, um, the amount of money made from sales has surpassed CDs, not the number of physical media. In any case, LPs, records are huge now. And I think in, t in 2022 and now on, we deserve more transparency, as everyone is saying. And I do agree with that. So this was my little take on this. And hope you're going to leave your comments here below and try to understand what can we do from now on. Because once again, this is an excellent moment to start demanding full disclosure on the process of LP making in other brands. And said, I believe you guys were doing some things from digital. And I want to ask you that question. Are you doing everything analog or do we have any digital in the process? I think what you're getting at in the question, if I can be so presumptuous, Go ahead. if I may, is that uh, is there any digital in the chain? Mm -hmm. We do have uh, 4X DSD and standard bog standard DSD is uh, 256 times the sample rate of a CD. Mm -hmm. We transfer at 4X DSD. <laughs> so we were talking a little too earlier and my initial reaction was if you have the ability to do this, why not just go to Sony? Why not make a t copy of that tape? You're not a fan of that idea at all, are you, Craig? copy of a copy make so an analog, like a, like analog an, make an analog copy 30 hips tape and cutting from that um the that is the 30 ips analog or a tape of any yeah analog. of any yeah. sort is not actually as accurate as the 4x dsd mm -hmm. it's it's truly a very transparent format and uh you know, with the pre-emphasis and de-emphasis in the analog tape machine. Yes, it is analog, but it is another generation of analog that it's another thumbprint mm -hmm. between the master tape and the lathe. And it's a thumbprint that we really don't want. Well guys, if you're enjoying my videos and you're enjoying my channel, please consider to subscribe by clicking the black and white logo here below. Also, don't forget to click the notification bell so you'll never miss an episode and you will become a true member of the analog community.